Sorry, y'all. The love of science just gets me in the zone sometimes. What's up, everyone? My name is Maynard Okereke, better known as the Hip Hop MD. I have a background in civil engineering, and I now work as a science communicator with my platform, Hip Hop Science, where I use music, entertainment, and comedy to educate on a wide variety of scientific subjects, which is actually perfect because this is the official debut of the Spark of STEM Coffee Break series, an online series designed to inspire educators just like you whether you teach at home, school, formal, or informal, this series will give you innovative STEM tips, tools, and resources you can use in your classroom and beyond. And if you're already familiar with XSTEM or SciFest All Access, then you know that this program is brought to you by the USA Science and Engineering Festival. It's also officially sponsored by AstraZeneca, a global science-led biopharmaceutical business doing incredible work highlighting the importance of STEM education, which we'll get to later. But first, it's time to introduce our STEM topic, holiday themed STEM activities. Yes, that's right. Simple experiments you can do for your students just in time for the holidays. Our first coffee break is presented to you by none other than Jason Lindsay from Hooked on Science, which is so fitting because if you're like me, you're probably hooked on the holidays. Whether you're going to town on a nice turkey leg or a mouth watering zucchini mushroom pasta for all my plant lovers out there. There's nothing better than being able to make connections to the things we love by using science. So get up, get hyped, and prepare to blow your students' minds with these educational holiday experiments. Oh, and did I mention, Jason is also providing worksheets and material lists for all of you to use. I told you, all the resources you need are right here. So Jason, take it away. Hey friends, how are you? It's Jason Lindsay, AKA Mr. Science with Hooked on Science. I hope you and the family are safe and well. Are you searching for a way to add a little science, a science twist to the holidays? If so, I have four mind-blowing science experiments I think you're gonna like. They utilize ingredients from around the house. We'll do two for Thanksgiving and two for Christmas. You'll discover the experiment guides at hookedonscience.org. In the experiment guide, you'll find a detailed list of ingredients that you'll need all from around the house, step-by-step -step instructions, as well as connections to the next generation science standards, I can statements, and a whole lot more. In addition to these four holiday STEM guides, you'll also find STEM guides for Easter, as well as St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July, another one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. Let's start with Thanksgiving, one of my favorite holidays, not only because I like to eat a lot, but I can use some of the ingredients from my Thanksgiving feast to do some mind-blowing science. I have a plastic glass, it's about three quarters of the way with water. I grabbed a raw egg from the refrigerator, toilet paper tube from the bathroom, and a pie pan from the kitchen. I'm gonna stack everything up just like this, and the goal is to knock the egg into the glass of water without ever touching the egg. It's all about pushes and pulls. That's a force. A force is a push or a pull. Kids really start to explore pushes and pulls at a very early age, like when they start crawling. They'll push everything. They'll throw things off of their high chair to see what happens. They eventually learn when they start pulling a wagon that a wagon that's filled full of rocks is harder to pull than an empty wagon. They then connect the second law of motion to that by middle school, which says force equals mass times acceleration, or we'll just keep it simple, more mass, more force. The first law of motion says this egg is gonna stay right where it's at until an outside force acts on it. Once an outside force acts on it, it's gonna keep going until acted upon by another force. And then you have the third law of motion. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So you've been thinking about it. You remember the goal was to get the egg into the glass of water without ever touching the egg. Do you have a hypothesis? What do you think? I like it. That's a good idea. That's another good idea. What if I just apply a force to the pie pan? That should knock the pie pan and the toilet paper tube in one direction. Then gravity should take over as the egg resists the change. We call that inertia. Again, inertia, the tendency of an object to resist change. Gravity pulls the egg into the glass of water. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Everything really has to be lined up just perfect, okay? Everything has to be in the center of the plastic glass, which has water in it three quarters of the way. Okay. Cross your fingers. Let's see if the science works. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 
And it did. I applied a force to the pie pan, the pie pan and the toilet paper tube went in one direction. Gravity took over. Since the egg resisted the change, gravity pulled it right into the glass of water. Five for science. You get to try it now. Pretty awesome, right? Did you know there's a turkey in your cup? Okay, maybe not for real, but using a few ingredients from around the house, you can help kids better understand the science of sound. Sound is vibrations moving through matter. Check out how I've engineered this experiment. You'll notice I have a cup, and on the front of the cup from the craft store, I created a turkey and just taped that turkey on my cup because this experiment is called Turkey in a Cup. Here's what it looks like on the inside. You'll notice that I pushed a hole through the bottom of the cup and threaded through that hole a string that's about the length of a yardstick. Tied a knot so that the string doesn't pull all the way through. Next I have a sponge. Okay, I'm going to wet my sponge with some water. It's going to help me create more friction as I pull the string. My turkey sound will come from the cup. Are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Isn't that so cool? It's all about that sound wave being created as I create some friction along the string. <laughs> Remember, sound is vibrations moving through matter. Think about a sound wave. What happens if you squash it together? You get a high pitch. You stretch it out, you get a low pitch. Now, this is one size of a cup. What about this size right here? Yeah, it's a gigantic cup. Will the sound be different or will it be the same? What's your hypothesis? Okay, raise your hand if you think it's going to be the same. Here, let's listen again. Just like this one. <laughs> raise your hand if you think it's going to be different. What is that sound wave going to do? Okay, I'm going to grab onto the string and let's listen. It's a lower pitch, right? So what's happening with this one, there's not a lot of space, so that sound wave is getting squashed together and you get a higher pitch. Here you get more room for that sound wave to stretch out and it's a lower pitch. So here's a look at the bigger cup. Sound of the bigger cup. Now let's listen to the smaller cup. Pretty neat. All you need are a few ingredients from around the house to prove there's a turkey in your cup. Plus, kids better understand the science of sound. Have you ever wondered how Santa gets down the chimney? It's a good question, right? Guess what? He uses science. Santa and I recently sat down for hours to chat about how he utilizes science to do all the magic on Christmas Eve. He wanted me to let you know the science he uses to get down the chimney. This bottle here, it's an old milk bottle. It represents the chimney. This egg, it represents Santa. I'm not saying that Santa smells like eggs, but it's a good representation. I have some water here in my glass. And I have two matches that's going to help me create a fire in my chimney. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first put Santa in some water, get him really good and wet. That's going to reduce the friction, by the way, as Santa goes down the chimney. How does Santa do that in real life? He gets some reindeer snot and puts on him, right? That'll reduce the friction. Okay, I'm going to create a fire in the chimney, then set the egg on top. And let's see what happens. Drop that in there, put the egg on top. The fire goes out. And here we go. Santa gets down the chimney. Pretty cool, right? So then how does Santa get back out? Well, Santa and I chatted about that and he said all the reindeer just blow into the chimney and that pushes me right out, Mr. Science. Let's try it. I'm going to blow air into the chimney. First, let's get these matches out of here and then see if we can get Santa to pop out. Okay, let's try it. And there he is. <laughs> Pretty cool. Isn't that awesome? Can you believe it? Science and Santa. It's a pretty cool science experiment that helps kids better understand the mystery of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. It can exist in three main states, a solid, a liquid, or a gas. I know there's five. The other two I haven't mentioned just yet are Bose-Einstein condensate and plasma. We know from experience, Water, for example, can exist in all three states. 
We can boil water on the stove and it goes from a liquid to a gas. We can put water in the freezer and it goes from a liquid to a solid. But if I put an ice cube right here on the Hooked on Science Lab desk and it's above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it goes from a solid to a liquid. Matter is made up of small pieces. The smallest unit of matter is an atom. This snowman right here is made up of small pieces. In here, I have something that's going to dissolve the snowman or take apart those small pieces. It's called acetone. You might use it to remove fingernail polish from your fingernails. So let's place the snowman in the acetone and we're going to watch him dissolve. Are you ready? Here we go. Notice it's starting to fizz, it's starting to bubble as my snowman dissolves. There he goes. And he's completely dissolved. Look at that. Now I can pick this up and you'll notice it's kind of goopy. Look at that. So again, all about matter, which is anything that takes up space and has mass. Don't forget, you're going to discover the experiment guides to all of these experiments at hookedonscience.org. You'll find a lot of other resources there as well. So go check out the website. Don't forget to follow Hooked on Science on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I post all kinds of different resources, sometimes daily, sometimes weekly. You'll find it all right there on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the website hookedonscience.org. I hope you and the family stay safe and well. In the meantime, remember, science is awesome. If that didn't get you hyped for the holidays, I don't know what will. A Thanksgiving-themed sound experiment. A, a melting snowman for Christmas. I mean, your students will literally be hooked on science for the holidays. Thank you, Jason Lindsay, a.k.a. Mr. Science, for that incredible segment. Now, I'd like to give a big shout out to our amazing sponsor, AstraZeneca, for making this Spark of STEM Coffee Break series possible. We hear it all the time. Why are STEM topics so important? What are the useful applications for these subjects? Now, I can go on for days on these topics, but how about we hear from some employees of AstraZeneca themselves about why STEM matters, and just as importantly, why the future is STEM. I think STEM education is really important. It helps us to understand how the world works or doesn't work. STEM knowledge goes beyond a career. It's knowledge for life. Building student skills, content knowledge, and fluency in STEM, no matter where they live, is so essential in developing the next generation of creative and innovative leaders. Science, technology, engineering, math, and scientific literacy matter because an understanding of science gives us a common language based on evidence and data. We're using scientific method as a backbone for analyzing new technologies. It's really important to learn these skills so that you can apply them in everyday life. STEM matters because the world depends upon it. We use it in our everyday lives and it's everywhere. STEM and scientific literacy will help us to better understand and meet the challenges posed by emerging diseases, food insecurity, climate change, alternative energy resources, space exploration. The future is STEM. Thank you, AstraZeneca, for reminding us why STEM matters and why the work that all you educators are doing right now is so important. I want to say thank you to everyone that took some time out of your busy schedules for this coffee break. We hope you found these topics useful and informative. And if you decide to get festive and use any of these experiments or concepts for your holiday themed STEM activities, make sure to tag at USA Science Fest and use the hashtag Spark of STEM. You can also tag me at Hip Hop Science Show. You can also check out our weekly one minute Spark of STEM every Wednesday and get information on more Coffee Break segments like this by following us on social media. Oh, and just like your favorite Netflix series, don't you worry. If you miss an episode, you can always catch us on demand. Thank you again to Jason Lindsay, AKA Mr. Science from Hooked on Science. Make sure to catch all his educational STEM lessons at Hooked on Science on IG, Facebook, and Twitter. That's all for now, but I hope to see you again for another informative Coffee Break segment coming soon. And trust me, it'll be worth the wait.